because now I know 0 0.3 is nothing, right? And so I spent five figures <gasps> on the rock. That was Pat's ring off. I took a credit card. Oh. Huh? Do you also regret your wedding? <laughs> this is your daily catch up, darling. They made me say it, okay? No, no. Do you hear what I hear? <laughs> Wedding bells are. Wedding oh, bells! Yeah. 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 Dad got married! Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to all the girls out there who have a crush on him. Zero. Huh? Oh. Mean? <laughs> huh? What? Mary? Where, where mean? Where's mean? I don't mean know. Mean also the one that cried his wedding. Shums <laughs> are. <laughs> she specifically asked to sit next to you today. No, oh. I am not. Oh. Hey, why you blush? <laughs> Net speech. Yeah, I cried I laughing from Net speech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very endearing. She was yeah. saying, uh, "Thank you, thanks so much. I really like that." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually need to read her paper to understand what she was saying. <laughs> so his wife. Woo, oh, woo. Wife. <laughs> Halfway through, she reading the speech. Then she look at then. Why are you reading my speech? Because <laughs> she's standing side by side. I think the alcohol in the system really made yeah, her speech. Yeah, and also her speech was really long, so it really helped that she punctuated it for cry. You know, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. really after a while you zone out, you know. Then after, okay, okay. Then after she, then after she, then you laugh right, then you awake, and then you're like, okay, here we go ten more minutes. <laughs> no, the funny thing was that like I told her that my speech was ten minutes. Then at first when she was writing a speech, which was only a few days before that, right? She was like, "Huh, I can't. Even, I don't even think I can hit five. She took forty. <laughs> <laughs> minute wedding speech. Eh? You, you imagine, you imagine right? Like usually online, right? I, Cause I was, I like to research this. People say don't make it more than ten minutes, and it was forty minutes, and everybody loved it. Like everyone keep coming up saying how much they love like her speech, Yours even though it was long. Oh, thanks. But, but I, I thought you were really uh professional. <laughs> like your entire stage presence. It was very good. And Not, got yeah. punchline. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got surprised at the end. Yeah, I got a surprise. Thank you. I was also surprised. I thought you were just going to end it by saying like, we just, was well, just cut this script and you just end. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was a joke. So context, right? So as part of his thank you speech, uh, then also wrote a song for Ned. So after he finished a quick blurb, right? Then after he surprised Ned with, uh, with a song. Then she immediately squat down and cry. Yes. Yeah. No, I, 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 knew, I knew she was going to cry, but I think she was surprised because she suspected Cause I'll just lock myself in another room and with the guitar and then like right. no reason, right? Uh -huh. But every time she kept saying like, so got surprise song is it? Now I'll be like, no la, there's no time. You do have the schedule, where can? So she legit really thought got no time. Yeah. That maybe I tried, but I just couldn't. No, means she knew. <laughs> <laughs> but you think she knew? And then you think that sure. she, you knew she wanted, you know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. I just like, I wanted to do something extra for her because I knew that she would cry for me. Even if it was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Go, uh, go at the cry on your wedding. Like, <laughs> night time already, doesn't matter if your makeup run. Like, that's the best time, like, yeah, right yeah, yeah. I never saw her not cry the whole day. Since <laughs> <laughs> 12 when she yeah, arrived. Like, right? the whole she night. took one step into church, like, <laughs> I heard she bored. Like, I was telling everyone, like, when, when she was walking down the aisle, right? So basically, uh, I'm waiting at the st like at the front, right? The and altar. Then after church. After the bridesmaid come in, it's her turn. Music changes thanks to John. John was handling the AV. Hey, finally, and then, bucket list. <laughs> yeah, he keeps telling me. I offer, I offer to like seven different weddings. I want to do AV. So then let him do two songs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, at the start, like um, her, her dad did say that he, he just wants like the mom to pass her to him and then for her to just do a courtesy out of respect. La. So they did that at, at the front of the of the, the church. So it's like, as she came in, right, and I saw her in her dress also, right, I really cried because like, she didn't want to let me see her dress and that's the first time I saw oh. her. And then like, this is the day that I waited for so long and for it to be exactly like how I imagined was just insane. And I think I just started crying and then looking at like the, the footage from Alison and I think other people sent me also. Like my groomsmen are all just watching me cry. They damn cute, they like, they <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But as she was walking, right, my, my tears started to dry up because it started to look like her, when she was crying while walking, right, it started to look from like happy tears to like, <laughs> Like I'm being forced to marry them yeah, by yeah, not yeah, crying, yeah. you know. It looked like very, very sad. But yeah. it looked like she um the, her parents just sold her. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like it was a, such a funny, ugly cry. Oh uh, yeah. It was just which is the best cry. I need to the see best. the video. Yeah, the yeah, I then, so you see, this was the one time I get to be AV, I miss all that. I'm so sorry. I got a great vantage point. The I saw price. everybody's back of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> no, the vlog can see you in the very small at the corner. <laughs> 
serious. Damn serious, eh? Damn hard, eh? You're too easy. Damn serious, eh? You know, like, we were with... Because, okay, like, Net, let's just be, be upfront. Net was a bit late. Thank God, because we were... I was also late. Thank goodness. Yeah, me too. And so, like, John, right? Because it's so started at I one. I was one half hours early. Oh, my yeah. God. You know, I came at about 11.15. How so fast? And then the church staff was like, you are the earliest groom we've ever, like, yeah. seen. <laughs> and then, anyway, like, John, right? At around one, right? He's like, ready, you know, like, game face on already, like... Is it, is, it, is it happening? Is it like what's happening? What's it? damn solid? Damn solid. If you hey, guys need I, AV, let me tell you. <laughs> because there was no switcher, mm-hmm. I need to play. I need to fade out manually. Pause. Oh. Bring the volume back. Bring the volume back up. Then play the other one in the span of please rise for the bright. <laughs> I trusted John to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you never hear the song before, so you probably thought it was a key, but it's not. Oh. It was a no, but I wanted to cry at the song because you choose the up like. Yeah. Oh, so so Ned, Ned wanted the, Ned wanted that song. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Good. You it know was... he was very stressed because he didn't know about the cutscene and everything. So <laughs> the song play, then I think like half the song gone already. The, yeah. He haven't seen the bright yet. Yeah, yeah. definitely because I'm also looking at the the song. <laughs> It's it, running out. Yeah, it's running out. We were reaching halfway mark and she had not appear. So I panicked already. Yeah. Yeah. No, but because she walked quite fast. It's because the, the, the <laughs> cutscene was supposed to happen at the start of everything. Right. Oh, that's what I was told. That's why I didn't even know to brief you about that also. Right. I wouldn't have known because it's below me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's exactly below you. Congratulations. Thank you Congratulations. so much. So Thank on you. that really bright note, right? I saw this track on Reddit that talked about what do you regret? <laughs> so fast. Oh, <laughs> just, wow. Wow. Barely a couple man. hours into his marriage. Wow. <laughs> what do you regret spending on the most during your wedding? Ooh. So because I mean, people always say like, nowadays they like to keep the wedding small or they feel like certain things like the quota li or this is like very old tradition that we don't really need anymore. Yeah. Did you have that experience as well? Or for John or so since you married? Maybe I'll talk about the stuff that was expensive, but I don't regret paying. Because ah. I think that was the more memorable experiences. And then maybe some of the stuff that I do regret paying. I think like the first one, okay, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but the quartali. No, it's right. not okay. yeah. The quartali stuff was very really eye-opening for me because I only have one sibling. My sister, like my parents didn't, didn't ask for it, right? So then when it was... Um, said that I, I needed to do it. I was learning like It was more of like, oh, okay, so this has to happen and all that. Oh, I need to get this. Understand. So like, there's there's actually a lot of different shops that you can Wait, go to. sorry. I backtrack a bit, right? Yeah, does sorry. the wife, I mean, does the bright side also give the groom's family stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's called Hui Li, I think. Oh. oh. Yeah, the return. <laughs> this is new to him. <laughs> new but to me. That part usually people forget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah or like, I give you the whole pig, you yeah. cut one leg, give me back. The guy, like, true, yeah. oh, How must be paid? So you didn't pay for the leg. It doesn't <laughs> have to be. Yeah. So if I can summarize a bit, right? The quota is a Chinese engagement thing. La. Then usually the set will include, I mean, it comes in a basket, which yeah. de- according to them, he didn't have. But inside there's ang pao, which is the dowry. Yeah, do yours yeah. was on chairs and shit. Eh. <laughs> no. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, but not just the wedding bells. There's also ring the notification bell. Like, nice. share and subscribe and comment down below. Good luck for a good relationship. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, back to the episode. I didn't know I'm supposed to enter with everything in the basket. So like- okay. Oh, you thought the basket was one of the things, ah? Uh? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I so there's supposed to be like, uh, depending on your dialect, there's like yeah, uh, yeah. oranges. Mm. Then there's like uh, some form of food. Usually it's a part of a pig, but depending on your dialect, or different parts of the pig. Mm. So like Cantonese need full pig for roasted or like for Hokkien, usually the pig leg. Then there's also like the Tao Sa Pia, mm. which I also Ooh. got wrong. No, because it's the Lao Po and Lao Kong Ping. Ah, yeah. Oh. And then there's like, there's like oh, candles God. and then but like the, the dowry and like the big Ang Pao. It was then funny because Ned's dad um, wanted a fresh pig leg because the can ones, right? You don't know oh. what, what a, what's in the can. So fair enough. Like we went um, and then we sent him a photo. Is this okay? So it's about this size. And he said, yeah, that, that's fine. Um, what we didn't know is that you have to reserve it ahead of time. So the <laughs> night before, right, we called our friend, one of our bridesmaids, Marie, who used to work here. Um, her parents were in the market, so they have all the, the, the oh, lobangs and true. everything. And so we said, Marie, can like help us like reserve a pig leg or not? They said, oh yeah, yeah for the quality. Okay, I got you sorted. Don't worry, my mom will sort it. Her mom contacted the friend who sells pig legs and said, quality, okay, no problem. <laughs> Settle, we go to the market the next day, the morning off, right? And instead of this, right, it is this big. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> One leg is this big. 
It's oh my god, tall. the real pig is like what size? It's yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Have you all seen the pigs that we eat? It's, you know, it's so big. Eh. Okja. Until the thigh, <laughs> that kind. Yeah, so it's it's literally from the hoof all the way until like the thigh. Whoa. So it's like this big, right? And then wait, like when I showed up at the uh, Ned's house, right? I didn't know all of it needs to be in the basket. So I brought like a cooler <laughs> bag. I brought the uh, the bags of uh, the, <laughs> so the bag of oranges. I brought the thumbsape and a different bag and then the empty basket, thinking I would go in and then assemble first. All I see from Quartalis are the photo uh, on the table. So I thought, oh, oh I go and assemble everything on the on the table. Yeah, you know, I'll take photo yeah. then done. No, everything's always been in the basket. We give and then it gets taken out. So I pass in the basket, he opened it, he like, eh? Where's everything? Then like, oh yeah, I I, I put now. La. So like where's the table? Then I start putting things on the table. Right. Then he's like, Oh, okay. Never mind, lah. Like, just like yeah. he, he knows yeah. that I'm a smaku, lah. I don't know any of these things. Then after that, when I pass him the, the <laughs> leg, right? But he got laugh or not? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like he, he was just amused yeah. at like uh, okay. my my no, deficiencies with, with in these culture. Traditions, right? If both sides are not clear, on right, the fear is that one side interpret it as it's inauspicious, um, as opposed to this fellow don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. But thankfully, there are shops that you can go to to just buy the whole package and like they oh. they, they know their stuff. One, but the markup is crazy. It is. It is. It's true. You can buy individually. So anyway, like I open up my cooler bag again, like <laughs> the f-ing, the damn rubber, <laughs> and then I take out the plastic bag and I say, like uncle or you know huh? like now is dead lah, but hey. uncle at that time right, um, where should I put this? They say okay, just pass to me. So he take out and then the whole thing is like this and then he. <laughs> so big and then like it's part impressed that hey good you spend yeah. on this but also how am I going to cook this because he yeah. only lives with his wife it's right? raw it's raw I thought it's roasted no 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 uh, so roasted is like uh, Cantonese they need sour oh. roll but he wanted fresh so that he can cook right, right. so it's this way like, oh my god this is endless <laughs> I will have an entire week of like like lunch right so he puts it on a plate then I go it's supposed to come in a pair here's one more <laughs> <laughs> so like on the table the, you know the table is not even that big to begin with like half of it is taken up by like <laughs> oh the so right. the rest of the stuff like certain thing and like all the other stuff right it's like <laughs> close close I, so thing. Thing. it's just like it doesn't even look good but it's fine you know like we just put it there but it was really fun right. um, so anyway yeah um, what I was going to get at was things that I don't regret spending on which was the quadali because like you know the, the pig legs what? ended up being more than the small piece in mm-hmm. the end like it really like Im- I, I, I want to impress is not the right word but I think it helped to bridge a, a gap with like Ned's dad the reasoning the save is like big day wa, wedding ma, must do yeah. big then yeah. he's like oh okay good good to the point where I think like Ned's speech also again it was quite a breakthrough moment where like he, when I had a curry stain yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh my god and then okay. he, oh, yeah. chills, eh. yeah. Yeah. Chills. he like helped me to wipe it and I was just like even Ned like it, on that sp- on the spot right, Ned started crying there already yeah. <laughs> she started huh? crying from the day because before. it's like such an emotional like her dad is helping me to do something I totally get it yeah I was so tired <laughs> that's when she cried Oh, it was so like absolutely like no regrets. I'm so glad that we like upheld traditions that were important for like next family and stain myself. MVP is that fucking stain right there, man. Yes, yeah, yeah. Net was like. Yeah, no, no, the reason why I wanted to bring that up first because on that Reddit try I saw it also, and a majority of people that say don't spend on something is the quarterly. Especially the goal, mm. because they say, right, the goal people don't even wear. So mm. another thing that we did, we did a change. So when we first talked about the goal, right, I think like um, a lot of like family members or whatnot advice, like the certain things that you can just get like a $1,000, $2,000 one. Right. It will come with all four already inside. But it looks very like, Obiang, uh. it like yeah. it's like the dragon plus phoenix yeah, it's and it's the, bright. Bright. the oh, yellow yeah. gold is super yellow for some reason yeah and like so, they spray paint almost yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's what? like it's like it's it, looks, it looks fake yeah, but yeah. it's real uh. so when we pass by and then we look and then I just look at her and say I, you will never wear this I know it's supposed to be for safekeeping in case it's a rainy day or what right but what's the point we're going to put in a storeroom we're, not, we're going to forget about it so I said why don't we just go and buy some nice ones that you will wear Mm. what I didn't realize is that we were shoot out to like 5-6k for it lah but we ended up getting some really nice ones from like Kati and, and Tiffany mm. no yeah. I feel like all this is just for show no no but I felt like it was important and like it was my gift to her because I realized I, I didn't buy anything for her so like oh. a wedding gift to her the barrel is your, is your parents buy one 
my mom did buy net jewelry also on top of the the Sun Tian Jing oh. that I bought for her. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She she just gave it also. Nice. nice. I thought right the ta, the four gold thing. Uh-huh. I don't know. Sun Tian Jing, right? I thought it was a waste of money personally. And then because also because I had a sorry also because I had a friend right. She you know how usual Chinese weddings right? You have a second march in. Mm. So by tradition, when you do your second march in, right, you must wear the gold because you're already going yes. Ah, oh, I know that. Yeah, no you way. Trust. This one is very traditional. Just, just outfit change. Yeah. Yeah, and also to wear the gold because like this one is your in laws give you one or something right. like that. So you have to like proudly wear and show that I'm I'm married well la. I'm married right. well basically that. But that makes you, sense. usually this shirt is very ugly, correct? Yeah. So my friend refused to wear. So right. there was some. Kuha. Yeah, during the wedding, but I didn't know. So then she was, she was telling me after the wedding that she was forced to wear that and then she didn't want to, and then it was an argument. So I right. guess that whole tradition thing, right, is really for the parents' law to show off to their like, guests. For mine, I was like, my, my family is not rich and I was broke as shit as well. And I also told my mom that, uh, but we will pay for our own wedding. So whatever tradition dictates, right, Pat and I will pay for it ourselves. Yeah. Uh, including the dowry and whatnot. Um, but I, I think. I was like really no money really then I was like we just started the business then very poor and then just spend on renovation all that stuff right so my mom said no um, I will pay for the si tian jing, which Pat also knows that I didn't want to make this happen so we gave her a budget I think the budget was like 2k mm. Mm. yeah uh, less than 2k and then Pat and my mom discussed they all went to the shop together and instead of picking gold Pat picked like um, jade and like like white marble kind of thing. Like got a bit of gold that kind of one. Mm. Mm. But it's not the whole thing. It's like just weighted and like yeah. thing in gold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Pat got a bunch of jewelry that she still wears today. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Cool. at the end of the day, I feel like you will sell or not because that's the whole point. Because technically it's yours, right? You can yeah, do it's, ma- it's meant for you to sell at bad times. Mm. Oh, really? For that's, rainy days? Uh. Yeah, it's but a so rainy day cash and trend. That's the only useful part of this whole quota leaping. Uh. Yeah, the other things like waste money. No, but no. quota, li, at least the way we did it, right? We never spent a lot of money, but it was just a very fun thing to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. like okay, the the dian jing, which is the four different types mm. of gold jewelry. So it's earring, That one is a side, right? Then the dian jing is like confectionery products, eh? Mm. Then yeah. Pat's mom also like don't know what to do with the pig because I give you the whole <laughs> exactly part. you gotta know how to re- you you gotta know which part to return me. Then if you don't give me the correct part, it's inauspicious. And then you know how to cuff pig or not. Oh, then the really need to return parts of the pig. Yeah, oh. and other things also. Oh. And so Pat's mom we consult with my grandmother, which is the oldest person you know. So which, the oldest <laughs> Chinese person you know is the authority on these things, law. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then my grandmother is like, uh, maybe can use uh can can pig trotter then. Then I asked her mother, okay, no, can picture then okay, then we just buy two can. So the whole quota thing maybe cost less than one, two hundred bucks. But I brought my sister all, then we you know we bring fan because you know you see those Chinese show mm. right the maple with whole fan. But <laughs> it's just a fun thing to just start like the occasion, no, I right. feel. Yeah, like don't negotiate that one. Negotiate like dowry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but I think my worry for, for all this, right, is like, it's like we're just doing this because it's tradition because, oh, my parents did, or my parents' parents did this. Law. Then yeah. I don't know the importance of all this, you know? Then I'm doing yeah. it for the sake of doing it. Then what's the point? No, if I tell you the answer is auspiciousness, is it good enough? No, I don't believe in it. What? Then would you want to go against it? So for Ooh. example, Ooh. yeah, if I tell you like, if you call your house key today, then I say, hey, don't open today, open tomorrow. It's more auspicious. Okay, would you I go tomorrow? tomorrow? You would, what? Yeah, mm. I mean, it's not that troublesome. La, yeah, but so like, to a certain extent, a wedding is a very, very big part of your life. There are certain auspiciousness, right, that requires a lot of money. F*** those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> but there are some that takes a bit of effort, a couple hundred bucks. No, but I also should say it really depends how important it is to either your family or your your husband's family. No matter what, any t- part of the tradition, right? It then matters not whether you want to do or not, but whether you want to keep them happy or not. Because like. to us, right? Yes, at first, Ned and I were like, yeah, it's just our day. We just do whatever we want. Mm-hmm. And after you kind of think of it, it's really about two families coming together. And to me, I want to make sure that Ned's family doesn't feel like, oh, she married this kind, like don't want to do stuff that we do kind. Yeah. Like, I don't want that to to happen, you know? Or I like, cannot afford the things that tradition dictates. Uh, mm-hmm. Like at the end of the day, I want to set a very good impression to a family that I would be able to take care of her. Don't worry. And if this is just one of that ways, then... To me, while I don't agree with the practice, I won't ask for it for my daughter. I understand yeah. why they want it and I want to respect that. Here and there, there's impressions and battles that you need to fight and you want to pick those battles. Mm. Yeah, like one of the battles so that was hardest for me, but thank goodness Pat's mom was very, very understanding was dowry. 
No, yeah. but there are also relatives, right, who will ask your mom or ask her mom, oh, how much is the... But what, what's no, the money? Or like, so my mom <laughs> yeah. said, I asked for $1 and I gave my $1 to something, or $100, then $100, I gave it back to them. Because my mom said this, I'm not selling my daughters. Mm. Which is the same thing that, um, my pet's family, not as comfortable as my family at that time also. Mm. And so, I think they also really wanted a few K, if I could spare that few K, right? Which we in the end gave. I mean, we didn't say no, we just like asked for like a huge discount. Mm. Because, and- Is there like a number to it? Like you have to give like- Honestly, minimum? I think I only gave pet's mom, and you all must understand pet is an amazing wife, okay? I only gave the mom, I think like 1.8K. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but also this is my assurance to the mom, and I say that you didn't lose your daughter, you've gained a son. And if anything happens to you, the both of us will be this, here for you. This guy, huh? Right? Hey, you're very inspiring, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. the day yeah. is that I thank you for raising this person and joining my family, oh right? My God, can you be like a wedding consultant? I want, no, I was telling my You're very good at this kind of thing. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> no, so you see, the, the 6K, right? Uh. Traditionally, right? So it's not auspiciousness. Uh. Mm. It signifies, I thank you for raising this. Because oh. it, it wasn't always money. <laughs> It was like three cows, four goats, you know? Yeah. So like, I thank you for raising this girl and now joining into my family, right? And so are you saying that she no longer contributes to your household? She's no longer your daughter. If you fall sick, it's not your, her problem. Are you not giving, are you not expecting monthly allowance from your daughter? Mm -hmm. If not, then if you, if you still expect this part, you cannot in the same vein also demand the first half part. Right? That was the way I see it. So it's not just auspiciousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's what does it signify? Okay, but I still don't know how much I should like. Oh, so, what are we looking at? So, so like for, for me, I, I had to speak to Ned's dad to understand like what he wants. So not just for the dowry, but the whole quarterly. But we did talk about the dowry. Quarterly. Qu quarterly. <laughs> quarterly. And then um, he told me an amount. Oh, so so there's a debate the, by the, the no, but, Nico. But I think like he was very, very understanding. Like even the amount that he told me was not as high as I expected it to be. Mm. Yeah. You actually mentioned that Ned actually didn't really want to do the quarterly, right? For like the girls here, are you also like of that mindset? Uh, I don't really care for it. Leh. Cause but you think your parents will make you? No, because for my brother's one, my dad said don't need. So although my father's very traditional man, he still didn't want us to do that. But it's thing. more for your brother's wife's family, no? Yeah. As in they both like just don't care. Right, right, right. Then they just agreed. Lah. So we didn't really have any traditional thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Plus, In general, like the whole wedding. Yeah, plus it was a COVID wedding, so. I see. I yeah. thought your COVID so, like, weddings the, were the best wedding. Yeah, yeah. only 20 yeah. people. Then you don't have to say if you never invite some people. Yeah. yeah. They were like, just all Zoom. COVID. And then it was a small <laughs> gathering. But it's 20 not so stressful. As in, I feel like if I was a friend, then... Say I feel like I, I'm close to Dan. Then he never invite me. I'll be so sad. Huh, but no, no choice. So I will understand though. The friends won't canary. It's yeah, just family. It's friend, yeah. family. Oh. Cousins. I'm very, very curious. Like how do you choose who to invite and who not to invite? And how do you like potentially <laughs> manage people who might be offended mm. if you didn't invite them? Okay. Honestly, this is not my tip to give. It was actually inspired by John. Because I remember him saying a long time ago, which is like uh, something along the lines of like, if we haven't texted or like spoken or I don't have you on my contact list mm. is one. I really haven't like spoken to you in like two, three years. We haven't hung out in like four, five years. Mine was one year. Oh, 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 yeah. one. So like for family, we kept it um, <laughs> immediate family. So like, no way, that's so hard. You mean uh, your uncle's not there? The closest some uncle. uncle. Okay, that's yes. the problem though. If okay. you invite some uncles, you don't invite the other uncles then. So parents, parents, siblings, yes, but not parents, cousins. So like, okay, for, for Ned's family, it was a different rule. But for me, it was very clear. It was my immediate family. So my mom, dad, uh, sister, sister's kids. That's all fine. And then for like uncles and aunties, it was my parents, siblings and their kids. And that was it. Like no mm. additional cousins, even though I am quite close to my mom's cousins and stuff like that. It was easier for me to say no because it was in Singapore. So let me tell you the real problems, okay? <laughs> to me, uh, the don't invite one, uh, mm. very can settle one. The hard to settle one, uh, or cost money to settle one, right? Mm. Is people come, they don't tell you, but they bring their three mates. Or you invite the husband and wife, Which they bring friend? their five kids. <laughs> huh? What, what? Do you not tell them like only we you? Did. We did. Oh. They showed we up. Did. Yeah. Oh, and shit. And they still bring. So then you open extra table. So at my wedding where Jackie was also my groomsman, which is my partner in this business, he gave up his seat. And then after he moved to uh, the Muslim table because he got extra seats, not full. Then after all, he had to give that up. 
Then he just walked around the wedding. <laughs> he didn't tell me until the wedding ended. Oh my god. Yeah, then oh he got god. he completely got displaced and he was just walking. No wonder I couldn't find him that night. Anyway, so shout outs to Jackie. He was just like walking around. Like, <laughs> but that's such people. a good groomsman move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, yeah. he never stress you out. He just like let he just quietly oh, no, which like is, which is the groomsman rule. Like just Correct. sort it out. Right. It's the only uh, bridal the entourage group. rule. The problem yeah. come to you, you contain it. I'm gonna be a groomsman. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna be a bridesmaid also. I'm also a bridesmaid. Nice. I stress. I'm also very stressed. I also bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. I think I, I already know what to do. But groomsmen, I don't really know what, what to do. What do you mean do. by what to do? Stack night, uh, stack night. No, like, bridesmaid very like, because I do twice before. So I think very standard, like the bachelorette party. <laughs> then you help. help with the hair and makeup. But then groomsmen, right? I feel like I need to do the, apparently we need to do the... Gate crashing. Uh, uh. Gate crashing. That is like very garang things. Mm. Everything that I, I brief my groomsmen, I learned from being a groomsman for one of my groomsmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you get yeah, a connection yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like his wedding it was very specific uh, he needed someone to, to help to drive he needed someone to be like the alcohol IC he needed someone to be the MC he needed someone to do this uh. then it was okay briefing got full schedule then go then so easy so not much difference from being a bridesmaid is it? yeah quite similar but I think it's like a little bit easier because usually the groom will style himself no gate crash yeah. 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 that's true, yeah, true. Yeah. That's I think he was sabi yeah it's kids yeah I think uh, it's, the, it's the perspiration yeah, oh. so, yeah if you don't get to go back and freshen up which in my case I didn't right yeah. or even if you did like, it still sucks because eh. <laughs> you, you know you're wearing a suit then you go there you style your hair for the, for the yeah. photos then they come in, then they make you do jumping jack, then they do you know, what, replicate K-pop moves. They got the moves. net thing, like the net pull on your face. Ah, right? uh, then yoga. Then you know, <laughs> you sweating, then like, like the yoga move, then they make couple yoga one, or like those four, five men yoga one. You oh, know, you're yeah, stacked, yeah. each other, then you're hand shaking, you know, your sweat dripping on the floor. <laughs> then after that, you break through the gate, then the photography start. Cannot be. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. yeah so then, Wait, so yeah. this is your second time or third time it. being a bridesmaid? This is my second time being a bridesmaid, but then Grooseman first time. So mm. did you know that if you have bridesmaid for more than twice, so if you do it three times and above, right, you are likely to be unmarried, to stay unmarried. Like what? what it's which, like a uh, hello, hello friends. This is like Western or Asian. Hello friends. This is like. No, I don't know. I was anymore. I saw it somewhere online. No, it's that's it. why you stop being a bridesmaid. Ah. You yeah, yeah, you oh, wait, wait. Okay, my first chance. bridesmaid, right? Because got something happened that I stopped being bridesmaid. That's so is it considered? It counts. It counts. Let me check. Let me check. It counts. Sorry, friends, I cannot help you anymore. No, so now you can only be groomsman. Yeah. Okay, I can be brush one unlimited. more time. No, you already had two times already. You, one can, more you time cannot do one. three times. Yeah, three times is the time. unlucky number. Oh, uh. yeah. Hello, guy friends. I only can be groomsman one more time. <laughs> <laughs> no, groomsman unlimited. Yeah, groomsman, no such thing. Why is this yeah. sexism? I don't know, this is true. Speaking of inviting people, I'm like, we were really glad that we had just the right amount of people because like we didn't feel pressured to like, invite maybe acquaintances of people that we're not close to mm. and then again like going back to the registry a lot of people are saying like oh you know majority of people they didn't even know that well or whatever mm -hmm. and for us I, I think it was exactly who we wanted there and the vibe check for us right we immediately look, looked at each other and after the wedding we both said that that was our favorite moment was when we we we, we wanted to play this game called finish the lyrics it's like don't forget the lyrics we play like six songs and then like pick someone sabo them and then they follow up mm -hmm. our concern before that right was that People would Shy. not want to play, like say, don't pick yeah. me or whatever, right? But when the first song came on, the whole room, like 70% <laughs> of the room, all just sang along, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we just wouldn't look at each other and went, this is mad. Like, this is the this is the best people of our lives. Like, right. we love these people so much. Hey, no problem. <laughs> also, yeah. because of liquor courage. <laughs> la, but. No, no. Which is why it was so important that the clumsy shots had to start rolling already. I didn't know wedding got games, son. So this is my second wedding ever. My first ever wedding Most is Matt's wedding. <laughs> um. and Matt's wedding is, I go there, eat there, I go home already. And, and also yeah. fun time a bit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, so I think for Ned and I, like, our biggest contribution was that it's not that we like we love every wedding that we've been to, but like sometimes it does feel like you go for a three hour meal and you're only just talking to the people in like your table mm. and we wanted like everyone to just get involved, feel like at least every half an hour mm. there was something that is for them and like can be fun and whatever. Mm. Mm. So like so like yeah, it was quite a relief when when people did come up to us and say like it was it was a really, but really it's, fun. It's a very you do you kind of thing, right? Yeah. It, it stresses you out and gives you a lot of anxiety to organize things or be on stage to be part of the games then don't. It's your night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. You guys do you. But yeah, we have very much the same mentality. Which is why, like, I think I overspent a little bit on alcohol, but I have no regrets. No like, regrets. It was so worth it. Like, <laughs> okay. No, I'm so happy with everybody, especially Jared.
Is this an advertisement? This is your daily catch. What happened to you? My hair hurts. I drank too much last night. Wait. When are you with me? Why are you hungover? I took Green Life Flush, a liquid formula that tastes like tropical fruits, protects your liver, prevents hangovers and headaches, and boosts alcohol metabolism. Huh? I only know about Asian Flush. Green Life Flush. It includes Indian jujube young fruit extract, turmeric, ferment, and artichoke leaves extract. Here, suck on this. <laughs> Wow! <sighs> if only they had a 40% off new launch offer at greenlife.sg from now to the end of May. Wait, they do! What? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Wow. Jared spent a lot of it. <laughs> like, I think you can show it beyond no, 10%. I bought extra because of Jared. Right. So when, when initially he couldn't make it, right? I was like, I already bought the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to finish all of this? But after the, the night, they transported back all the unused alcohol. I thought it would be like two, three bottles. Uh -huh. We had 27 bottles of red wow. wine that no one drank. No one drank it. No, the white wine finished though. Yeah, yeah. so I bought a lot of red wine, not enough white wine, thinking that people would gradually go from beer, white wine to red wine over the right. night. But everyone just Is stuck to thing? their drinks. I usually do that. Oh no, the best part. Is, I mean, the the worst part. If I might complain about your complain. grand beautiful wedding, was that I asked for white wine and she was like, "Oh, this is Moscato you want." Then I'm like, "Oh f yeah, like give me some bubbly Moscato, right?" <laughs> yeah. I love so Moscato. I was like, "Oh, can I have a review?" Oh, no more. Already. Yeah. yeah I, was like, <laughs> I, I only bought seven bottles yeah. of Moscato. <laughs> then why you want to no, give me a glimpse of it? She <laughs> gave us the whole bottle. Ah, no wonder uh, la. One point, no, our table at one point had four bottles of yeah. alcohol, different, different alcohol. Because Vishal also made friends <laughs> with the, like, the manager, then they keep serving us. I had one drink and then my face got red as it does, right? Yeah. But nowadays it's like 50-50. You don't really know. Last time I know for a fact, right? <laughs> but now it's 50-50. So I, it caught me off guard. <laughs> then my face will turn fucking bloody <laughs> red, right? So I had one cup then everyone like, looking at me is like, you are already uh, John's drunk. Then I can hear yeah. them tell uh, like your table, they're John, like John's John. John. drunk. Then I just like, what cup? <laughs> what cup? Oh, but if there's a money saving tip, right? So like all the alcohol that we bought was during the 4-4 four, four sale and it was so- There's 4-4 four, four sale for there's this. Four, four, yeah, five, yeah, five, yeah. Everything. There's 4-4-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5
Oh. If you can afford a very nice dowry, right? Your dowry not ugly. Yeah. What do you mean by dowry? <laughs> is okay. Okay. The only ugly reason then. why I, yeah. The only reason why I thought of Cartier was because the box is red and it will look good on the. No, you can go to Taobao and get a box. Go no, Taobao. No, but it's, also, it's also a nice. <laughs> Honestly, brand, my, <laughs> my friend sold me the wedding, my engagement ring for pet. Yeah. Like him, gave me a good deal. Nice, respectable rock. Yeah. Hated the box. Went to Lazada back then. And then there was this open right. <laughs> Nigga, what is that? Yeah. Bro, oh. the spotlight is exact on it. Like it's exactly on the rock and, wow. and nowhere else. On. It's not like he lights up the yeah. box. Oh. Lights up it's the rock. One dot uh, mm. that lights the rock. Spotlight. Oh. So, yeah. so, so the, the brilliance of it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the moment it, like, it, it looks nicer in the box than in real life. You know what I mean? You can find uh, John's uh, Lazada affiliate code downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did save on our wedding bands. So like, okay, obviously my I'm getting so used well, to wearing it. Well, your wedding band is a story in itself. Can I just say that I love wearing this? I will purposely do stuff with my left hand just to like look at it. Anyway, so like this is an <laughs> exact design Sorry. of um uh, a Tiffany a Tiffany band that I really wanted. Okay. But the Tiffany band was like 1.4, 1.2 or 1.4. Then I went to the jeweler that I made uh, Ned's ring. I just said, I want this one. He said, okay, can 18 carat, exactly the same specifications, 700 bucks. Whoa! Half price. Yeah. So at that yeah. wedding, right, when they exchanged ring, there was like a good awkward three minutes. Okay, I want to say that it was, we knew it was going to happen because I have a very awkward, like, I have very awkward knuckle. fingers. My knuckle is very big, but my actual finger is very thin. So if I follow the width of my knuckle, it will be damn loose over uh. here. It will keep going up and down. And so we have to go with this. Hey, I, I made a very conscious decision when that was happening. I decided to laugh out loud to ease the tension. Yeah. No, no, but I, like, did you I hear it? She tried to, she tried to wear the ring. And, and Pat was like, you laugh. <laughs> no, so the thing was that I was thinking to myself, why are the laughs not there? Because we knew it was okay, okay, okay. it was going to happen. Oh. We thought that people would laugh at it. So that's why I was making faces. I kept going back like, yeah. you know, like, eh, eh. but then like, I was like, oh my God, no one's laughing. Then I, I did I, a damn fall. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I, all I remember was I heard a laugh and I went, okay, phew. Oh, thank God. I was being a bro and Pat is like, why you laugh? Then I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a cunt, it's gonna appear in the video. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you really scared uh, the whole wedding. You're really anxious. I was, yeah, that, I was that, hoping for a bigger laugh, process. if anything. Hey, what are your thoughts on um, natural and versus man made diamonds for engagement rings? Oh, I didn't know there was man made ones until pets. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I went to Google. What I is didn't know there's a difference. Uh, Pets one is all uh, her business. Uh. Yeah. You know, there's there's zero difference. The problem is that with this diamond right, is that it's all inflated. Like the value of the actual beers. diamond right is yeah because of the beers they own like eighty percent of like the market right. It's so inflated when the yeah. chemical compound of man-made and natural diamonds are almost or exactly the same. It's the it's made of carbon, which is one of the most abundant materials in the universe, not just Earth. Eh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I just in want nice, universe. nice ones. Yeah, I don't care. I want pity, Yeah, pity and so this is your sign, okay, to accept man-made ring and don't fit into this. If I go back to the question now, what's the one thing I regret and it's not the wedding, the proposal, getting a uh, natural, natural diamond. diamond. Yeah. So you can search a diamond. <laughs> no, but there are some girls who want like, I want real one. I want real yeah, diamond. So, so to debunk that, both are real. They are exactly of the same chemical property. And yeah. the only way you can tell them dif tell the difference if it's an expert use a microscope to look in at it. Mm. And I think if I'm not wrong, one of the key characteristics, right, of a lab grown is that it is better. It's, it's more pure. It's more yeah. symmetrical uh, on the yeah. inside. Uh, yeah. So like you are spending five times more buying a probably inferior yeah. looking thing. So this episode is sponsored by Nobody. Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I think by so my past. <laughs> the reasons I've heard right from like Sky fans is that they feel like they need to spend yeah. the money for the for the fiance and the family. So like yeah. to them the minimum right, and a minimum that I've never thought was even possible because I'm going to be very honest like I, I bought Net and Net only wanted Sapphire it was like $4,000 she knows the price 4.5. All my friends are looking at diamond rings right, and it has to be above 10k. Mm. <gasps> like, they so say it's 3 months salary. They say it's 3 months salary. Yeah, 10k is so less than the 3 months salary but they are like saying it needs to be 10k because if not right like you GG cannot bro cannot, oh. cannot be less than 10k man. Oh. Yeah, so what some people do right Sometimes, for honestly, if you marry into a very rich family, mm. you and you are not very well to do, but you are okay. It really is somewhat important to sh do a show of force, yeah, mm. right, to let them know I can afford. Mm. It's just stupid, but I can. Mm. So what some people do is they still get because they don't want to buy into this fake pricing, mm. right? They buy a lab-grown diamond. 
then they buy a Rolex. Yes. Oh. Then at least that's the fucking Rolex. Yes. And the ho- Rolex only appreciates. Yeah, the diamond immediately. So it, Pat also admit to me, she, she fucking sells it somehow. She said, the moment if you, you buy already, now you break out in front of me, you return me. Uh, I'm not going to buy back from you. Eh. Yeah, it's so abundant. Yeah. It's, that she, was what changed my mind also. Because they say, you buy already, walk out of the shop, half price. Yeah. yeah. The interesting thing is that the thing that you are paying for when you buy an engagement ring, right? Is that while well, you're fixated on the size of the diamond and the premium is buying off the diamond, correct? But the moment you decide to sell it, they are only looking at the band because that's where the goal is. Mm. Yeah, that diamond is worth nothing. Plus, right, when you walk around, people are going to be more impressed by your Rolex than your diamond ring. <laughs> Unless you're Alison, who doesn't care for watches. People will be more hey. impressed by the size of the diamond. So Pat's diamond ring is actually the second ring. I don't know whether you all know this. So <laughs> when I first bought Pet's diamond ring, I, I knew I had no money or so. I ordered online. So there's this shop called bluenow.com. I think it's the biggest like digital thing. Huh? Mm. They're very reputable. Then why I went with them is because they got free return. Like if I don't like it, I can return. Huh? Then they refund oh. me. But I have to pay the shipping. What I didn't know was shipping cost 200 bucks. But okay. <laughs> it's true. Which is a lot, which back then. So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I bought that ring and I had no sense of why it's one carat, why 0.2 and all that shit. And buying a diamond ring is when a man first really study something. <laughs> you know, it's the first car and the diamond ring. I know Pat's ring because we got a couple lap ring, right? Oh. right? Oh. When we were, yeah, when we were very young. And so I know an exact ring, so I put the ring in, but I didn't know ring also got US, Japan, UK, Europe. <laughs> oh. So I bought US size nine, which is like a keychain. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, so it came to me and then the rock I bought 0.3 because I had no sense. And then like, it felt like, when I first asked myself, how much am I willing to spend on the marine? Number was like 3.5 yeah. or four. Back then I was 25 years old. Uh-huh. Um, so then on the 0.3 carat, uh, which is like a, about a piece size. <laughs> it's about a piece size. On a very huge On chain. a f***ing <laughs> uh, You cannot find a oh it, it looks like, you know it's welded like onto uh, to the Mario toy then the Mario toy already dropped on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, then I had to go and return this f***ing kitchen and it takes two hands to hold, huh? <laughs> then I paid $300 or 200 plus for shipping USD because you must insure the package. Oh, shit. And, and I couldn't resize the ring because oh. it's so big. Man. Yeah, they <laughs> so big. So much. Yeah, they, they, they have to cut out then they bend. So the fucking thing is stretched until so thin already because Blue Now is not going to give me extra white gold yeah. because I ordered big. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. size doesn't affect the price, which means the same amount of gold they were going to give you, right? They are willing to stretch it to whatever your finger oh. size is. Yeah. And so I got some super thin, brittle looking shit with a small rock. I couldn't <laughs> even resize. And then that's where I had a very real conversation with Pat on, uh, are you okay with lab? Because back then, Valco Post got our first deal. Yeah. Uh, Star Carrier or something like that. Lab grown. Oh, yes. Yes, that yes, was yes. when first that was when Lab Grown first was introduced to my life and I, yeah, I yeah, realized yeah. the existence of this. And then because we got a client brief, ma, so I'm like, oh, it's exactly the same as real diamonds. The chemical property is the same, there's still the yeah. cert, there's still the clarity cut and all that yeah. shit. Then I, I was pitching it to Pat, and then Pat's, Pat just like, mm, No. I think I still like uh, troll eh. Then in the end, because now I know 0.3 is nothing, right? And so I spent five figures <gasps> on the rock. How when? Back then, that was Pat's ring. Oh. I took a credit card. Oh. Huh? Yeah. N- not saying that Pat made me do it. Yeah, but. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Not saying that at all. <laughs> but it was more of, I want to marry her, I want to give her something she deserves, right? So had I spent 3K, and this is back then pricing, uh, back then pricing. So right now, Pat's ring would be. Yeah. More, yeah. So had I get one carrot lab grown, even in two days, uh, 3K also can. Yeah. yeah. Score. Yeah. So, and now you all know it's the exact same thing really. So like, don't- Life hack life. So to round things off, right? I think we spoke quite a bit about like significance. So <laughs> I saw this um video where the maid of honor, I think, gave the bride a gift like at the wedding dinner, but like she gave a clock. Then the clock had a very specific time on it. And then she said that um this is the moment that the priest s- said, you are, I now pronounce you man and oh, wife and kiss the bride and then their first kiss that is the exact time man. and then so the gift right was for them to like put in their home right and she said that like in future like whenever you all feel like you all have come to a breaking point or you all have like thing, something that you feel like you cannot get over right I hope that you all will look at this call and remember the commitment that you made to each other That's so and sick. the heart that you had oh. this is the kind of at that point. Oh. speech I'll confirm but then some Chinese auntie will be like why are you afraid you clock the only problem is <laughs> <laughs> Pantang, and then a broken claw that doesn't move is even more yeah. pantang. 
But okay. Man, uh. Yeah, they don't believe so it doesn't apply to them. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. That's oh. really such a sweet that gift. That was such yeah, a great such a gift. gift. I wish you just told me in private so I could do it. <laughs> yeah, like now you have like time of birth, you got time of death, now you got time of exact marriage. Yeah. yeah. I wish I knew mine now. <laughs> the bridesmaid halfway through the wedding is she? You would the know. <laughs> because there was a videographer and it's timestamped. Yeah, you would know. You can do it's digital yeah. digital clock. That's true. Also, I'm gonna steal your idea. The the complete the song. Hey, the finish the lyrics. Yeah, I can send you my I'm slides. Stealing. Basically, right? <laughs> I don't the know. Slides, I, I use the same songs. <laughs> yes, yes, I embedded yes. the audio to the slide so that my uh, uh, so my other groupman who did AV for you the dinner. Oh, don't have to like keep pressing. Uh, you just have to press mm. next slide, next slide, and then the song completes and, and yeah, finishes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- this was how I spend my nights, <laughs> like leading up to the wedding. <laughs> Married men of the internet, I do have a question that I don't know how. Like I don't know what the answer is. Okay, and let's I can't close ask with you, this. Like if you all play football. Ball, right? Do you take off your ring? Because it's so difficult for me to, to <laughs> put it out and put it Why, why, why you have to take it out? No, because like in if you, you like play it, then yeah. like in case like I contact somebody or what. Because oh. I know that oh. I wasn't allowed to wear chains or like like wristbands or whatever. So like I don't know if I need to take off my wedding ring. That can so let me know. Question, Sounds like a no to me. But I think I World like Cup need to take out. Don't take out. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you were the futsal one, don't you? Never ever take it out. Don't lose it. It's very sad. Like when I lost it, right, I, I I felt okay because I had no attachment to it. But I had a couple lap ring that has been with us for like nine years then. And you lost it. And so I wear the couple lap ring thinking, i rather wear this because I got pitch to pet. I say, why are you buying ring? Let's use this one. This one is the, I asked you with my girlfriend and you remember now this f***ing ring. You then lost the f***ing ring? I lost the f***ing ring. Oh, no. I feel like oh, somewhere God. in my car. I told my mechanic to take it apart really. We yeah. still couldn't find it. So it's probably not in the car. I'm just saying, me- <laughs> saying metal detector, but the whole car is metal. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much for watching today's episode. We hope that you have a good wedding. <laughs> we hope that you take away something, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Show off your ring faster. That's show off. <laughs> it looks like Lord of the Rings. That's why I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was holding my partner's hand, right? Then I, I want to uh, measure her finger size. So that I put, oh, I put that? my finger. Hey, why you put this out there? Later she just yeah, start. Then she, know, know, I she know that. Uh, as it was like a for fun thing. It's not okay. like a real thing. We're not there yet. But anyway, so that I... I like that, like that, like that. Then after I take out my finger, right? Then it's like rectangular. <laughs> <laughs> this measurement doesn't work. So if you're watching this episode as a couple, Go and tell no matter which stage of this relationship you are at, yeah. tell your boyfriend your ring size now so that they can avoid this yeah, situation. Like, you if you have telegram, right, just just put it there so that next time he will search <laughs> for it in desperation and go, oh my god, yes. here it is. Yes. Um, and then you never need to know. Just write down in your own telegram chat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Tell your sister. Then he will know to ask your sister. Yeah, yeah. For make example. sure that you make it very searchable. Ring, size, your correct, name, correct, correct. number.